as he was saying, was well, been around since the beginning. Yeah, you guys let me know when you're ready because Margie won't be in until about a half hour. She had a little small emergency she had to attend to. Okay. okay, then we might as well start. All right, we're ready. You guys all ready? Let's roll. All right, so let's call the meeting of June 23, 2022 to order. Jesse, take the roll call, please. Mayor Susanna. Here. Deputy Mayor Nakutani. Here. Council Member Chair. Here. Fisher. Here. All right, just so everybody knows, all workshop and council meetings are televised. These meetings here are televised also. The workshop meeting is televised. So be mindful of that. Anything that you say will be recorded and also archived and shown at a later date. Uh, the notice requirement for the open public meeting after this meeting has been satisfied. A copy of the annual notice sent to the Azure Park Press Post and posted in the town hall and filed in the office of the municipal clerk on December 9th, 2021. Uh, right now, I know we have Gene here, so we'll get right to it, Gene. Oh, you have our ear. Oh, okay, yeah. Gene, I, Gene Armstrong, just introduce yourself. For this. I'm Gene Armstrong, 2500 Sunset Avenue. I own Armstrong Tree Service. And uh, I keep telling everybody they need to get permits, but I think I'm the only one. Everybody else is doing business as usual. And uh, I don't think one of my customers has been able to get a permit as of yet. Uh, I had one that was struck by lightning, which they just gave a verbal go ahead to, which they probably could have given a permit, but they did not. Um, I mean, the big thing, you know, most towns I deal with, seven, 10 days, you can get a permit from them. And uh, certainly the fees are outlandish. And the big problem with uh, requiring a certified tree expert to say that the tree is dead or dying, which a lot of these are pretty obvious. You can't get a certified tree expert to do that. The one customer of mine that did find somebody, they wanted $500 to write a report. As you guys said, you were going to have a certified tree expert handling everything, which I think we have a plumbing inspector doing it okay. as of yet. <laughs> All right, so let's get this clear. So hold on. Now yes. You, now you go. So do we have a certified tree expert? I have one, yes. And that's who we're using? It, it usually, I mean, the procedure is usually I'm called. I mean, I don't. We I don't. thought a Bakins, a Bakins guy was who you. That's Bakins. You, Bakins. you are a Bakins. Sorry, yes. Well, the problem with that is you are not handling the day-to-day -day things. You're only somebody they will call. That's why I just said. I mean, usually we get called. It, but right. As of yet, I think it. just the plumbing guy is handling it. Yeah, uh, the majority of my customers say just getting through the front desk at construction. It is difficult. Claire is not the most personal person. I had a call and today in regard to the same thing about somebody who waited 22 days to get their permit yeah, I've through. Had, I've had nobody get Talk a permit through. Somebody got either, I guess, an email maybe saying that it was. Gene, give me an happening. example. Gene, give me an example of another town. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Titten Falls. No, do Titten Falls. Valley Beach, we just got permits within. How about okay. Titten Falls? Uh, I haven't dealt with them. Okay, so Interlaken is what? Limited to how many trees? You, you know, I'm not even sure exactly what it is. Yeah. How much are the permit fees? No, no, no town is anywhere even close to the $100 plus $100. I mean, we're talking healthy trees there. Um, but in all fairness, when we talk about Interlaken, they don't have a commercial or a vibrant resale uh, area like we have where people are buying and, you know. It, it's small, it's a much street, smaller town. On a, a, on a very grand but scale, the intent of this wasn't to inhibit or prohibit anybody from <coughs> the land or taking trees. It was to try to be mindful of the fact it, that the trees are being eliminated. No, I agree. I mean, it with indiscrimination. I mean, a, you just a, a lot of people now. see the 32 acres and they talk about the 32 mm, acres. No, no, I get more, but, more calls from yes. residential. Yeah. Do you guys. really? Okay, Honestly, interesting. interesting. No, I didn't yeah, know this. That yeah. This stack part of Oakhurst, Elbow yeah. yeah. Park. Yeah. Here, there. Um, My neighbor just clear cut his land. I what? just got a text yesterday. That's me. Gene. That's what we're getting. So, the, the, you know what? The only person that's hurting in the, is me okay. because everybody else is still going like so it's fine. But let's talk. So let's. Your main I'm trying to do is, do what I'm you're, supposed you're to do. <laughs> the fees. Let's park the fees for a moment. Okay. Because I really think, you know, anybody's doing any kind of considerable work. They're, so. they're very high. They are very okay. high by any standards. Um, I mean, we have standards. But and, and tell me about. <laughs> the, I want to know the part about the process of getting the permit. That's what we're interested in seeing how, lot we, can, of, how we can help you. I, I have people it. that have put in and, and I still haven't heard back from them. 
been it's been quite a while, and I know some people give up right at the uh, so front desk. There, they so just how many, with it. how many permit requests do we have That's for a trees? Question. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. Uh, okay, so let and let's see what the the time yeah. is. Yeah, hey, well, not only that, from your end, yes. Could you tell us? You know, here's the name, here's the property, permit applied for here, I not received. When permit I come back, I'll, I'll be coming back at 7, and I'll, I'll actually Just got some, drop that I got off, some, drop some people today. coming over to and uh, He's the chief cook. Drop that off to him. Well, here, so you, your, your customers may not want their names. Well, some are going to come. Some oh, are actually coming. Yeah, fine. so, and we'll let them say their piece. I mean, I have one yard where, you know, they have a pool. The white pines were planted 20, 25 years ago as, as a hedge. Now she wants to take them out and replant. I think they gave her some crazy number to, to be able to do it. I got the sheet here. Do you have that one? Yeah, I think it's, it was like it's 20, a crazy thousand. Number. It was like 20,000 or something. This is insane. Do what? They're replanting. Why are you charging? Why are you no, no, no. Because, well, they're probably do, not do you know this ordinance? Apparently, it, it's pretty convoluted. Yeah. Well, I had a meeting with the manager the other day about this. It's, it's crazy. And we need to look at it. We all uh, approved it, though. Yeah, but we, we need to we need to look at it again. The, the, the one thing I'll say, you know, you, uh, you approved this all, but you <coughs> didn't have in place what needed to, to go along with it. I mean, that's half of it. You know, just having the construction. I mean, we're supposed to register with the town, but this, I'm which I'm already registered team. because I have my mercantile. Come but my, house, my wife calls over there and said, "Well, what do we have to do? We want to get the plaques." The trees on my yard, and, and people three. don't call it. They don't call you back. Three, and then they said they market. couldn't get plaques. No, I said, "That's not what he's saying." You oh, can just go to Staples and make some up. It. You know, just get a laminate. He didn't even get into that. Yeah, yet. but there they said, said to us, pines. "We cannot get placards for the trucks." Gene, how many pines did that customer want to take I down? I think it, I, it was maybe fifteen to twenty. I think okay. the total was oh, twenty. So fifth move. No, no, what you're not moving move? pines. Remove, but they were going to put a, a new hedge of some sort. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably, right, so probably Gene, probably not trees. So Gene, were the, Gene, let me ask you a question. Were they told if they're taking the 15 trees out, they have to pay for every tree past three? I think, I think they did. I right. think it was yeah. something like. I heard like maybe 20 grand or something. Yeah, it's I, I, yeah. looking at the sheet. Yeah, every bit of it. Yeah. So you can't. Basically, what you have to do is if you take, I'm in this situation now, that's why I'm throwing my projects out. If I want to take the trees down, like I said, take the green down to put up solar panels, right. I'm going to get hit for all six of the trees that have to come out sure. at 750 a pop. Yep. Right? A and I got to replant trees. You're not replanting them on my property. You don't, there's no space to pr plant them on well, solar panels. Wait, wait, wait. It's right. one or the other. You don't pay and replace. You either pay I think you replace. have to replace too. No, it's yeah. right. Regardless, right, right. you would pay into the uh, right. you pay into the fund. You pay into the fund. You yeah. pay or replace. You, right. you don't Correct. Have to. But if you replace it, you got to place with with certain size trees. Right. You know, if you remember, I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay. I would. I, I thought we should have held off a little bit, but mm -hmm. the, but the bottom line here is right. that you know there's a lot of people with different viewpoints. Yes. Right. And and, and so. Aside from the money, because that we all read, we all approved, we all passed. It's the process that, right? It, I mean, to Chris's point, I, money aside for the time being. I, I mean, I know construction has a lot on their plate as it is, and now you you've thrown this in on top of it all, and I, I just don't know. I mean, it, it it it's like we're right back where we were before. Right. You know, I mean, I'm shut down. I should I should have never attended any meetings, and I could have kind of kept going like I didn't know, is what I probably should have done. But you know, I'm trying to do. And, and another thing too, I got a problem. I mean, you never really get it out there. I mean, I feel like I'm the only one telling anybody. Right. You know, it seems like you should have gotten out there for people. To I, who? And, and the town. Twenty-seven thousand people. Well, you, you know what? You can do a robo call for snow, or and you know for stuff like that. You know. Mm -hmm. For stuff, I know. You I know, know what I'm saying? We're, we're I feel like I'm the only one out there. You, sh you should. I should actually be on the payroll because <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one <laughs> telling yeah. anybody. I helped write an article for the coaster and op-ed. I don't uh, know what the status is. I it's called the coaster too. So oh. yeah. Oh, uh, to so that they would aware of it. Yeah, they oh, okay, would publish okay, something. Got it. Yeah. 
I mean, I think the bottom line is like nothing gets out to everybody because most people don't pay attention to anything. But it seems like. But, but, the, the, the but, but hold it, time out. Yeah. There are, what do you call it? I mean, there's a limited amount of contractors like you. Right. And maybe a notice going to all the the tree contractors saying if you don't do that, right. this is a violation. Well, well you know, I think we did notice. send out. Yeah, but we, like you say, we're supposed to register, yeah. and yeah. we they're not doing it. They're not. They don't. So they're they do not the have it in place. Can't get a placard. They, they said they can't register. get placards. He can't get a tree expert to where he has them for the uh, to look at the trees that are dying. Right. And he hasn't gotten permits in how long? I haven't gotten any. When was your how many did you apply for? He, I, haven't, I don't. Apply. I won't do it. You know, I won't do it. But, yeah, I've had the customer deal with it because I, I ain't going down there. But, okay, how many customers have applied who didn't get permits? <sighs> At least ten. Okay. A lot. Uh, the only one that did was somebody that had a, a tree hit by lightning, and right. he must have known somebody because they said, "Yeah, go ahead." And I told him, "I said, well, you better have something from them." They, they emailed him saying it was okay, it but they did not give him a permit, mm -hmm. which they probably should. Mm -hmm. Should we have another meeting, may maybe, and kind of? Revisit what? Well, we're gonna. Look. <coughs> well, let me check with Ron Kirk and see what's going on. Right, this is right. the first I'm hearing about any of this. Yeah, so. I, I don't know what's going on. I got on a couple either. calls today. Here's the thing: we. I know. I know. This, this just smacks up like here, 12, but 12 years ago. Where the trees this is the last one. So they're not even moving. Yeah, about three but, months. but you know, <laughs> it, it's yeah. it's like the first time when you first brought it. It yeah. was that was a disaster. Well, it, it did my it didn't <coughs> go well. I voted no on the ordinance itself. Because I don't think we were ready for it. There well, was tweaks. You it got the ordinance back. itself, then you got the other half. Of then it, they came back know? to say something about on the um, senior developments that they weren't going to whack them. So well, that part was good. I'm curious why you did that, though. <clears throat> if I'm going to suffer, their single family homes. Why don't they have to suffer like me? Uh, it seemed like it, you it, were afraid because, and they were going to bring a lot of people in too. <laughs> they did. It's just another process. They do have to go through a process. It's oh, just separate from the yes. ordinance. No, normally so. those, like you say, they have their own association. They do, but usually around the house is, is you can do what you want within a certain amount of feet. Yeah, but then all the other grounds. Fifty-year-old trees, either. No, 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 there's not. There's not. Rolling Meadows was a farm that was right. built in the '90s. Correct. So they have a 22-year-old tree yeah. that's 30 feet tall. Yes, for the most part. <laughs> so I, I, I. I but that still falls in within there, <laughs> you know, because six inch diameter. You remember last time when, when they nine. started with six, I fought very hard for nine inch and uh, and I lost I'm that. I didn't lose my nine inches. inches. <laughs> so I, I will say thank you for coming in. Right. Thank you for making the comment that you did about letting people know right. if you're not the guy cutting, cutting hasn't stopped. No, no, it has. I see my competitors. Right. I mean, one of my competitors, I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> Initials? What color? But, but I think it's kind of maybe the color, color that's. Sh no, no. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many times he's been caught already, but I know it's more than one. So. You need three. No. Well, I think he's been caught already, so you can look into that. Right. All right. No um, jokes on this. Okay, Gene. But I will be back at seven. Come at seven, and, and uh, we want to hear from the folks who actually put the permits in as well. Okay. Yeah, I think a few of them are going to show up. And, uh, I think my competitor is going to be there. Yeah, he's going to see what. So try not to smile at him or smirk. Okay. <laughs> he gets mad. <laughs> he might get. <laughs> we take we'll everything right 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 seriously. Yeah. Well, yeah. Jane, you could always come to my office anytime. You got it, man. You don't have to wait for me. I appreciate it. I could solve this better during the day when everybody's here. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you guys. Later. All right, Gene. Okay. Thanks, man. <clears throat> All right, Dave. Pick it up, I guess. So it's a Greg's here from Greg's areas. Engineering report. Mm -hmm. Jump right into it. Um, first item I had, which I talked to some related to the speed bumps. I talked to Mark Vesakis. We sent him the copy of the shop drawings. He's looking at them to see him and his, his personnel to see what the, if he has the manpower and the time to do the speed bumps. Uh, we'll know that probably by the next meeting. Um, if he can do them, we may order the speed bumps because the the cost of the three speed bumps is nine thousand, three thousand per street. Wow. And if he can put them in, that's well within our budget. We budgeted twenty thousand for them. Right. So we'll, we'll just probably order them so that we can, I think it's a two week lead time, and then we'll talk about the installation timing. But I think if he can do them, he wants to still do them, so we'll put them in. What was the quote you had last time? You told us it was like much more. Forty thousand. For what? What was that? To install all the, <coughs> just to buy and install them in the three locations. So they're charging us thirty thousand dollars in labor. The Jesus. labor is what wow. the cost. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was, which is way out of line. 
That's why we budgeted it. 20 because we knew they were $8,800 to buy them. Mm -hmm. So we doubled it for the contract cost and they came at 40000 It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So, okay. but if we need public works at the time to put them in, that's the way to do it. We'll save money. And a lot of it, too. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one was the um, uh, walking trails at Joe Plant Park, the phase two. We advertise, <coughs> on, we're going to advertise it on Tuesday. Bids will be due July 13th. That's the section we. Remember last time we were in, uh, a couple months ago, we started talking about to do the whole thing with a couple hundred thousand dollars, everything that still needs to be done. Right. So we broke it into two pieces. This piece that we're doing now is actually a pretty long piece that parallels Dow Avenue over by the Dow Avenue School. It's the north and south piece there. It's in the worst shape of what's remaining. And it's a pretty straight run, and there's a lot of tree root problems in there. So that's the next phase we're going to be taking care of. And then the third phase will be sometime maybe in the fall. So I got a question for you. Do you ever solve these tree root problems? Is there a way to prevent this from happening again? Well, what we're doing is we're bridging over them. Okay. So we're figuring they're, you know, they're coming out of the ground, they're fluting because of the water tables up. So we figure they're, they're, the, their trees are probably done rising. They're just going to spread out now. Mm -hmm. So we think yeah, going over them should solve the problem. Okay. As opposed to if we try to cut the roots and get down at that level, just more roots are going to grow. Mm -hmm. So we're, we kind of ramp up 20 feet before and ramp down. You know, so it's a 40 foot distance. We're going up over the top of these major roots. Okay. Plus, it doesn't. We don't want to kill the root because yeah. it probably damage a tree pretty severely. <coughs> okay, so that, but those will be that work will probably be done August, July, the paving of that. Uh, the next one was the sediment testing. Uh, we got the results in. We don't have an arsenic problem, but we have okay. a, yeah. we have a benzene problem. Right. Uh, um, I have talked to the LSRP. He's actually he didn't give us the full report yet, but he he kind of is going to summarize everything for us. There was two hits. Uh, we have two types of benzene at the different ponds. Uh, we don't think they're serious. There's, in talking to them briefly, we're talking about how we're going to, we, what we plan on doing with this is we're going to landfill it. And the, the, the standards for exposure to groundwater are much more stringent than to surface water. And since we're going to have a surface water problem, we feel we're in much better condition. So he and I have to kind of talk that through. But I said, this is going to be buried under four feet of, of soil. There's going to be no water perks through it, so he, it made him a little more comfortable. So by next meeting, we'll have a resolution. We'll have his full report. We'll kind of know how we're going to head. And at the same time, in the next month, I'm going to now reach out to the County Mosquito Control Commission to get them on board, because knowing we have this and it's something we can actually go forward with, we can actually merge the fireman's pond into these two because we don't have an arsenic problem. So we'll merge it all together and put it all out of the fourth fairway. Well, next to the fourth fairway. I could put it in the fourth fair because I can never hit the fairway, but it <laughs> wouldn't bother me in the least. But so that, yeah, that'll be pretty much, so I'll have a little more information for that at the next meeting. Now, the next item, the Roselle Avenue Crosswalk. Um, the, I gotta kind of read it. They, they wanted a crosswalk at Roselle in, uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Um, I'm looking so for my Logan notes. Logan to Monmouth. We have, a result. we have one there by the golf course now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I gotta, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I, I was totally something different. The Roselle Avenue sidewalks were the guys that we talked about last yes, meeting yeah. about the $85,000 to do the piece <coughs> of the place to, 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 to go to Right. Uh, I didn't know if you wanted to do that. Well, we talked about doing next year because we don't have the budget to do it this year. But the other thing is, I guess we had to kind of decide if you wanted to do that in do the assessment road. district or not. Because we talked about, I don't know how we would not do an assessment district when somebody else says, why did you put right. these sidewalks and not the other? The only time we don't do an assessment district is when it's a grant situation, a safe right. sidewalk situation. Right. And that doesn't exist here. I mean, or if it was a county road and if they thought it was a safety reason why we should have them. Right. I mean, sidewalks are always safer, but that'd be impossible to do the 126 miles of town that way. Right. Yeah, and that kind of dovetails into the, the another uh, next item that I have is the uh, sidewalk that we told everybody, or not everybody, we told the uh, Rolling Meadows people we were going to put on the west side of uh, Hope Road from north of West Park Avenue to their entrance. We put a piece of it in when we did the TTF program there. We didn't have enough money to do all of it. They wanted us to extend the rest of it. Is that something that we should put in an assessment district? Because that we are going to do in the 22 program, because we promised them that we'd put in. But so we're going to go to West Park with it. Yeah. And who are we assess? There's no house there. Well, that they would go to Rolling Meadows. 
Oh. See, but they were all they were all gung ho until they found out they might be getting assessed for this, and then they kind of backed way off about that. So we'll put it in, and then if they want to, uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll put them in the assessment district, yeah. and if they want to delete it, then because they even said to us, "Were we going to have to maintain this when you put it in?" I said, "Absolutely, it's on your front." Yeah, unless we can come up with another TTF grant or something for yeah. it. That one would be tough. I mean, most of the other sidewalks we kind of look at, we can kind of maybe tell them it's you know safe streets, the school. Roselle is not going to talk. See, here's the thing. I'm going to say this. I'm going to throw it out there. Eventually, that piece on the corner is going to be developed. <coughs> I mean, when that gets developed, we can obligate the developer at that time to tie in with the rest of it. Right. See if they're willing to. I, I think it's going to probably happen within the next year or two. That Definitely it'll be sold. Be. Somebody will take it. Somebody will come over to play. It might be a two, three years where they actually put sidewalks in. Right. Okay. So that not, might solve everybody's problems okay. financially. Well, we don't pay for it. They don't pay for it. There's no Let's assessment. Just kind of pay for an offsite improvement. Yeah. How many acres is that back there that's for sale? Not that many. It's it's, a, it's not. It's just it's shallow, but it's long. Uh -huh. but it's enough that it ties into that. Yeah. And, you know, if they want to do a little commercial or stores or something. So if you're going to do the sidewalks, would you go all the way down right to <coughs> West Park? Yeah. Well, yeah. From the ranch because we already did some of it from the oh, yeah, like side the southern part of their entrance all yeah. the way down to the west part. Okay, that's what they asked for. But I think that person that owns that property, the new owner, is going to come in with a plan at that time. Right. All right. Well, I'm actually, it's kind of unique timing because I'm actually talking to them because of a problem with Martelli detention base and discharging into them. So I just met with their HOA president last week. So I'll reach out to him and see if we can do that, push this off yeah. until if that they don't want to wait, explain to them about the assessment portion. So. Okay. It's still a year away. But I mean, if, with that many homes, I mean, you're talking a couple of dollars each. No? Well, that's what I'm saying. Spread out. It's not going to be. Yeah. But the, 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 the sidewalk that really goes to nowhere. I mean, nobody really, I don't think, walks down there. Yeah. Because it doesn't yeah. But that's what I'm saying. When that land is developed, developed, it might be <coughs> somewhere, something that they're going to use. Right. Might be a coffee <coughs> or a convenience store. In the corner developed. Yeah. So yeah, they, they may, they may wise to be wise to that and say, let's wait and let them pay for it. But there's no sidewalks on the Enclave side either on West Park, right? No. Going down? No, mm -hmm. there's bodies. So a couple of pieces will have yeah. There's not a lot of sidewalk. It's all piecemeal. See, yeah, I mean, it would have been nice. How big is that corner piece? I think at one time I asked about bringing the tie it into the, the fields down there. And just didn't go anywhere. You mean to go all the way down West Park? Yeah. How big is that property on the corner? Which one? The one that's for sale? Yeah. I, I don't know. It's several acres. Not. It's not as deep as it looks because if you look, Rolling Meadows property yeah. comes up probably only 200 area. feet deep. Mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> so it'll be three, four acres. Okay, well, I'll talk to them and hopefully they'll see the light. Yeah, I think that's going to happen though. Okay, the next item on the list is Martelli. Uh, as you know, we had the gentleman in last month, last two weeks ago. Um, we met with them today. It was a very positive meeting. Most of everything was aired out. You know, the landscaping issues were all resolved. The landscaping is going to be done in the next week. We had the Martelli's landscaper there. We identified exactly what was dead, what was going to be planted. Some things were being overplanted and too crowded. Uh, the only thing that's still out there is we have to do an as built of their pumping station, which is for their uh, infiltration pond. But everybody's in tune with that. We're going to get an as built. We're going to meet out there. We're going to go through the startup for it. And then it can be turned over to the HOA. They're happy with the way it's operating. The HOA just doesn't know how to operate it. So when we go through that startup procedure, they'll be happy with that. And the other pump is in there? Was, weren't there there's, two? There's two pumps in there, okay. and Mr. Lineski was saying there should be three, and that's what we have to get into. But the two, it was changed at the planning board level. Right. And it's, you know, the one pump is doing dual service because it wasn't needed to have a third one to sit idle 90% of the time. Right, right. So that's the thing, only thing we have to kind of get into a little bit. So pretty much the punch list will be taken care of, and what's the uh, time frame on this? Well, landscape's going to be done next week. They're, okay. They're cutting all the dead trees down the next two days. Okay. Doing a little stone work and to figure out some, you know, filling some drainage uh, erosion. And then the new plantings are going in next week. So the only thing that comes down to is just that pumping station, which he's going to give us in a couple of weeks. He's going to get that all together, give us a an enlarged version, and we'll have a meeting outside again. Everybody's so, in agreement with the wall also? Yeah, the wall. That's was, another issue. but it's The wall was uh, resolved because the people from Martelli came out. They had an engineer inspect it. He's going to give us a letter. The letter says that the, the reason the two walls, they're not crumbling, the reason they were shifting a little bit is because the lawnmower service, or the riding mowers, were getting too close at the edge of the wall where they're only too high. Right. There's no tieback material there. So they just kept pushing that top block. 
So they're gonna, what they're going to do, they're going to put a little landscaping bed at the end of each wall on both sides at the shallow side height of the wall to keep the tractor away from it, and that'll solve the problem. Any repair work have to be done on yeah, that? Yeah, they're going to shift. They're going to shift ten, it back? Ten blocks are going to be shifted back. Okay. So everybody on Everybody's both happy, happy now. Yeah. Good. So, so is, is, is there a punch list, or is it just those three items? No, the point, well, we, no, we had a punch list of things that, which identified everything in there, and that won't change until everything's taken care of. But everybody has agreed on the punch list. Yes. And we have it in writing. Yes. Well, the only thing Martelli didn't agree to, the punch list that the HOA gave me, they gave me five items at the, at the meeting, and I kind of briefly read through them. I think two or three of them were identical to what was on our punch list. So I didn't get through the full detail of it, but there was only five items on his list, and the, my other letter had like 15. So even they took 10 things off of their list. But I'm pretty sure we can get most of these things without any trouble. Because if we're down to one thing, Martelli will... We'll make them do it. Yeah, so if, if there's nothing major on the list. They might say they have an apron that needs to be replaced. We're telling me disagree. And to replace a $300 apron to get off your bond, isn't that worth it? He yeah, had to complain. There's something about a, a curb that they that cut. Uh, the, cur the, curb work, the, the, the curb is not structurally damaged. We're just going to epoxy coat Yeah, but he said he'd do that. He said he would do that, yeah. And the signs are getting fixed, too. He was complaining about the tilted <coughs> signs. Yeah, those were already fixed. They were fixed. Okay, good. Yeah. So, they really, before the last you, you know what? Made a lot of progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there was there was a little bit of a <coughs> little bit, but everybody in general was very cordial today, and everybody was happy when we were done, and everybody was thankful for what we did. And good. So, it's just if they deliver, and I know the landscaping guy will. He said he would do it next week, and he's well, pretty good. Thank you guys for meeting out there with them. I appreciate that. For them. Hmm. One less head. <laughs> uh, next item, we have a proposal from a 5G company. It's called Muni Site Holding Group Partners. <coughs> they came in, uh, they want to get a, I guess I would call it kind of an exclusive. They want to give us the first proposal to come in and be the one that, has, that controls the polls. And then we're, they would allow three users on the polls. Um, one of the things that I went back, there's several things I went back to them asked for. The first the big thing was they didn't give us a map showing the poles. They didn't give us a detailed polls on how high the poles are and how many carriers can go on the pole. So I just wanted to bring it to you tonight to say that, you know, we've got the first company coming. They kind of want to be the, the leader out there and say, we're going to take care of selling these other three, you know, the three locations to somebody. But I don't know the rigor and rules of the finances of how that all works, and that's what we have to get through all that. I just wasn't going to wait until next, probably till July, maybe even August, depending on they give me information. Because I want everything set from my point of view where these poles are. Because the map they gave me only had like 40 poles on it, but it, it doesn't cover 10% of the, the town. Right. You know, they just went down the main streets north to south, like Monmouth Road, Whale Pond, and, you know, a couple others, and just put poles and spaced them out. But there's nothing going through the neighborhoods east and west. So I think when we get a true map, we'll have a lot <coughs> more poles, and that's truly what we got to evaluate, and in the height of them. So it'll probably be at least, you know, definite to the July meeting, but I just kind of wanted to bring it to you because we got yeah. to let you know what's out there. And it's the only other thing we kind of talked about today, Dave and I talked about, is we don't know how this impacts. Remember the gentleman that were here last night, last yeah. one putting the underground 5G in? Mm -hmm. We don't know how that goes. Yeah, because that would impact them. But, but yeah. well, like Dave says, you know, we're going to be competing against ourselves then. Yeah. Because if we're going to be part of the underground, well, we're going to be part of the, the pole system. And I mean, this is going to need some discussion because... First, we've always were able to do our own pole leases or to Sprint or whomever, whether it's at the towers over there or Jeff Player Park. Because there's a single big pole. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so we've always, and they come to us, and uh, they think they'll always come to us, whoever right. wants to come in town and be on a pole, and you may do better that way. I mean, it's probably easier for one company to be the clerk of the works, if you will. Mm -hmm. But I think financially, we probably do better. I'll get new offers ourselves, right. and then you're not encumbered by one company and precluded from even having that other network that right. was proposed last week if it's something we want to pursue. Right. So I just say it needs more discussion. We have to hear their plan, how that works, and does it violate our, uh, our open bid process. Yeah. I think it does. We certainly yeah, could. It's got to be over 40 Gs, I'm sure it does. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, were yeah, talking about that. Yeah. So I think that's in play, too. So. And then, you know, I think the thing we have to look at, too, is if we, if we wanted to be the controller, who puts the poles in? We don't certainly want to go putting... We can control where we're at. Right. If that's why I want that plan to say, this is where we can go. And the first guy comes in, we make a deal with him to put the poles in, and then we still control what goes on. Right. It's probably the way we would be looking at going. 
Okay, well, I'll get the yeah. information I need from <coughs> the locations, and then we can kind of get, get them in here, maybe let them talk about the financial part of things. Okay. Uh, the, the last thing, well, I got two more. The another, next thing on the list is West Park Avenue County had a pre-construction meeting on Monday. They will be paving uh, West Park Avenue from Deal Road to 35 this fall. Deal 35. Okay, remember, we were after yeah. them for that section by Cindy Lane. You mean Deal 35? They're going from Deal Road. Yeah. To uh, uh, West Park Avenue from the Yield Road area all the way to, to no. 35. What do you mean, Deal? Do you mean Poplar? 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 Well, Poplar. 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 No, they're going past Poplar. They're going over 18. Yeah. And then oh, they're probably. going all the way up to the top of the hill by Hope Road, I guess it would be. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Not Deal Road. Road. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're one. coming from there all the way down to 35. Okay. Um, oh, good. Oh, so they're doing our whole old yeah. motion township. Oh, well, wow, except for well, they're not doing the, the east side of that, which is really. You know, from 35 to so they're going from, <laughs> oh, okay. from the uh, overpass west. They're going to Hope Road. No, they're going, they're going all the way past. Hope Road. Yeah, they're so going the end. Hope they're going Road. past the middle school. All in front of the middle school. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So they'll go. They'll probably take the break out with overpass and then come down to the section that we needed. Yeah, but I'm saying that's the rest of Ocean Township. Right. Port and we did. We already did 35. What is um? Yeah. Does the matter know about this? Idea. 35 to Mammoth on West Park. You talking about deal? So, which road are you talking? No, West, West Park. Park. West Park. Yeah. But West no, Park. Where does West Park come from? Yeah, that's well, done. They, West Park is on the west side. They only pay some of it. West Park is on the west side. I'm going to look at the map. All right, then they got the intersection. So this part goes all the way to Sheffield. Part of the project that we approved four years ago. Why is he connected to Deal Road? He's not. Just the research. And where are we with? They run parallel. So what did he mean? They don't. Because I saw her today and she didn't say. I was going to say. I was like, wow, maybe she's way out there. Well, yeah, maybe way out where we live. They go like this. Okay. I literally saw this woman today. All right, that's good. Because they got yeah. their much land they're taking over at the manor. Yeah, yeah for that, that turn there, yeah. Okay. They, that, they supposedly worked it out, but for some reason this lady can't get any information of the county engineer. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was just going to ask. Kind of were, were they with that uh, that turn on Poplar? With that? <coughs> that, that would probably be my, almost positive as part of this. Right. But I, don't, I thought that was all worked out, but the gentleman that I knew was taking care of retired from the county. Who, Ed? Uh, I mean, a tour, Joe? No, there was a junior guy taking oh, care right. of the, um, really so He was doing the field work. Joe were they started. doing any, they weren't doing any widening on West Park, were they? Oh, it was just um, just on Poplar, I right? I think of, I'll remember okay. his name. I can picture his face. No, West think. Park. The, so you'd have from. But Poplar was going to have that other lane so you could right, turn. Right, turn lane. Right, right turn lane, but nothing. Uh, there was something else going on West Park, wasn't they're it? On the right matter, hand. they're gonna yeah take the take it back a little bit, so they can widen it up. Right. Yeah. And you said so. I'm sorry, I, I heard you, but the dates of this meeting are. No, the meeting was Monday. The meeting was Monday, so construction could start in the sometime in the fall. There's really we didn't get the exact schedule because they just awarded it to Stavola. So once Stavola right. sets his schedule, we'll okay. know exactly when that's going to be. So probably in the fall. Picking. But it will be the fall that's scheduled okay. for it to start. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> see if in that plan is that right. moving those twelve <laughs> poles and widening. Be curious yeah. if they're doing that phase one, two. Over there. All right, I will ask about that. Yeah. If not, it needs resurfacing regardless. Yeah, it's a pretty bad shape. Okay, the next thing I had on my list Maybe is they could TTS put that applications. Side There's Chris. two resolutions in your packet for the side approval. One. There's one for. Um, the TTF application for Poplar Road. We wanted to go for that for the funding to go from uh, Deal to uh, West Park. The next application uh, we were going for was a, um, a sidewalk on the north side of Deal Road from Carberry to um, mm -hmm. to Bound. Bound. I think that'll go into that we're going to safe route to school kind right. of that. Coins and returns, right? Too. And then we're going to dovetail into that the intersection improvement. That won't be right. part of the grant application, but the sidewalk will dovetail into that improvement. And then the third um, thing was an application for the bike lane, paving, helping us pay for pay, uh, paint stripe and the bike, bike lane. And we're applying for the bike lane on Mammoth from Interlake into Park, mm -hmm. on Corley's from to, from West wow. from uh, Mammoth to Wicapeco, and then Wicapeco from Corley's down to Sunset. That ties us into our loop with Sunset, Logan, up to the library. So it's getting that our loop's getting kind of there. We just got to get, you know, if we get could get something down Beale Road and make it a, a loop, and then if I can talk Long Branch into going down Park Avenue out to Ocean Avenue, and then on Sunset we can get uh, Asbury's already had going to put a bike lane out that way. 
doesn't necessarily touch the Ocean Avenue. You know, you have to kind of get into north of uh, Allenhurst before yeah. the nice bike lane starts through Deal. But if we can punch another one out through there, through Corley's or somewhere, then we got a really nice network going yeah. for that bike lane. So if we do the one on Deal, we'd have to lower the speed limit on Deal Road? Yeah, that, that well, the, the yeah, you have to lower the speed limit. The lanes are too too narrow. Right. So that, that's really a double problem there. But the mm -hmm. speed limit is, there's no way we can do it at 40. Mm -hmm. So Deal Road is, is a problem. Sure. But we, we, we got the other two. We got Sunset and Cordy's. At least it gets us through there. <coughs> okay. Um, the last thing on my list is Ocean Glades. Uh, we're, as you know, we're kind of struggling with this one. Yeah. Um, I reached out to the LSRP last week, and I wanted to talk to her and ask her about splitting the app, splitting this thing in half, subdividing it, and say, is there any way we can subdivide it, take the contaminated piece and park it? And, and, and us keep it and yeah. sell the up the non-contaminated piece and she said absolutely we could do Good. that and there is brownfields money <coughs> that paid us in the cleanup of that so I think that's kind of a home run for us because we kind of have a, a sinking fund right now trying to catch her you know this thing and they keep <coughs> changing not changing but they're, they're they seem to be still in tune where they want to know the limits of this lead contamination and that was all at the surface level and they don't know that it is at the surface so they want to do more testing and it could cost us a lot more money so this way, if we get rid of that, we can actually use some of the sale of the property to kind of get us going over this side. But they, she, the, the LSRP said that, that that should be acceptable by the state, too, because they know we're struggling to try to keep this going. So that, that was what I would recommend. How many acres are dirty and how many are clean? Well, it's 17, and yeah. right now it looks like there was seven that were up. Yeah. That might be down to five, right? Yeah, it was, it was somewhere around there. Five, yeah. five are clean. Five after the buffer. Right. Last I, I think five were usable yeah. after the buffer. Yeah. Five are usable. So, but there was a pretty good buffer in there because we had some possible endangered species on one side. But and then. Is good. I mean, we can meet our obligation there for what we had talked about, the 43. Yeah. And, but that gets that moving forward because you know that that whole thing could actually move forward on the residential side for the clean side and get that off the books for us point of view right. and let that all come to fruition while we're dealing with the other problems instead of holding that whole thing up right. so i think we take advantage of the good market hmm. so I'll, I'll prepare a subdivision map we'll get that going we'll get it subdivided and then i think there we would have people in place that are willing to bid on this yeah. on the, the, the clean side yeah so i'll just sit down with them we'll mm -hmm. get it through and Get that moving. Okay. Good. All right. That was all I had on my list, and then That's I know it? Rob had a couple of yeah. questions. <laughs> How many? Yeah, uh, what today. do you have? About fifty today? Uh, ten. But they're not all Greg's. Yeah. Um, that was for get me. ready, Dave. So you got the JPP one. That's good. Thank yeah. you. That one's Mark's. Patching and paving of Roosevelt. Patching and paving. We uh, we're reaching out to the water company. The Roosevelt, you remember, was the water main went down that, and they patched that. We wouldn't let them pave that because we have really bad curbs and sidewalks there. And they would, it would have been really bad for us if we paved it and we go back in, you know, nine months later and mill it. So they are going to maintain that trench. We reached out to them today. There's really no potholes there. The trench is just sinking. So you have a concave section of the trench down the whole longitudinal portion of it. I'm going to, I asked them to go in and, and mill that, or not mill it, to uh, pave a, a leveling course through there. And I haven't heard back from them, but I'll, I'll get a hold of them the next couple of days. But that's what we're going to ask them. They said they would maintain it, so they should honor that. Hold on, sorry, my screen is saver. I think I answered the other next one already too. <laughs> uh, lights on Monmouth and Grant. That's cheap. Uh, bike lanes you did. Bike yeah. lane from Monmouth. Bike lane from Monmouth is part of the grant too. Yeah. Got it. Martelli, you did restrooms at the pool. Restroom at the pool, we we applied for a grant. Yep. We haven't heard back for that yet. I think I got the next one already too. You did. I think so. And you got a wall. That's it. Only metal it was only two. Good answer. See? Good job. Here we go. <laughs> All right, and that concludes me. Yeah, no, Shirley. Does anyone else have ten questions? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm more discreet. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier. The answers. Okay. I get. Oh, everybody have a good evening. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Greg. Bye -bye. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Greg. Ellen had known about that meeting. Is that the one? She didn't. She wouldn't have yeah, so um, No. It was, it was on their website. She had been on their website. She'd have to be following that. Yeah. Okay. I'll call her on Monday. That would be really cool. I appreciate that. Yeah. 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 Trust me, she's been calling me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to feel like she missed something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That'd be great. All right. All right. Thanks. See you later. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
All right. I got uh, two quick ones. Uh, update on 1001 with the PECO. Mm -hmm. The RFI, we had the mandatory drug through tool. We had about six uh, interested parties, I'll call them, to come in and take a look. So we're waiting through that. I would say out of the six, two were very, very serious about it. Um, but the, the, the crew really likes their, uh, their virtual golf idea too. So we'll have to weigh it all out at the end of the day. So once we see how serious these folks are, uh, we'll be back to you maybe in the July meeting, if not the August meeting, with, with a better update on how we move forward. So Dave, what would be the uh, the time the times that this place would potentially be open? Probably not to some time late twenty four. No, 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 no. no. Mean hours, I mean hours, 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 hours of operation. Golf. Oh, the. The idea that was kicked around at this table was closed at 8 p.m. Okay. because of the residential neighborhood, which may deter some of the businesses because I think they're going to want to stay for later, hmm. which is which makes the virtual. So they want to take the whole building and make it virtual now. Pretty much, different aspects of it. You know, we got the virtual with bar. food and stuff, and well, we were going to set up a local delivery system where the local vendors could deliver. Uh, to the site while you're playing golf, you can get some local food. Right. It's like, it's like golf cave. You ever go over right. there? No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's exactly. fun. You do like birthday parties there. Is there exactly. room yeah. for that there? I mean, is it big enough? Oh, the place is huge. We're talking once we open up walls and everything, right. okay. it'll definitely work out. It's it's cool. You go in, there's like couches, and then you can type in, you can play any course you want. You can play, you know, PJ Sawgrass. You can play, you know, crazy courses. Right. And then you bring your clubs and you can whack the ball and you can drink and eat and. It's something to do, especially. And we're still going to go yeah, for a club yeah. license here and stuff, which. No, we won't do that. We, we won't do that. Where is yeah. that one? No, we'll stay. It's in the industrial. So we're park just strictly looking at it uh, as a virtual golf there. place. Okay. Right behind Possibly. the sheriff. The plan B, if we can't get the, uh, if we can't get a vendor to come in there and outfit it and do all that. The other problem we had, the neighbor, uh, I won't say which neighbor, uh, but a neighbor already complained about a restaurant coming in. Uh, wasn't too happy. Really? But was that yeah. since 1921? Exactly. <laughs> that was always. It was always a restaurant. Well, there's a garden that was before I arrived, but, but I was informed about it. Right. I mean, it, it's only been, what, the last 20 years that it wasn't? Yeah. I mean, it was a catering. Uh, not <laughs> catering. I want to say a, a place like uh, Christie's. I mean, same thing. They did weddings there at one yeah. point. Yeah, it was a banquet hall. Yeah, banquet hall. Remember, we had our pop order. <coughs> yeah. So back then, we had a Doc Malta. The uh, wow. second thing I had was to expand <laughs> on customer relationship management. Uh, I found out about something we have called reported. And you didn't know about that? I did not know about oh. that. Oh. So here I was trying to create something. We already <laughs> had it. So, um, so I get messages. Yep. Usually only on the weekend at 11 at night. Would, would, would you like for us to relieve you of that and <laughs> have it come to the manager's office? Um, I don't or know. set up a separate one just for the manager. Or, or maybe you can be, yeah, maybe you can yeah, be. Right now we have, it. We have one on it. for the mayor and one for the police, uh, police department. Right. Mm -hmm. But my idea was to set one up for the manager's office so Tracy and I can manage it and uh, disperse the different yeah. work and, and help out folks too. Because I know there's a lot of going on, on social media right now. So this would help uh, corner it and right. channel it good work. Towards, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that there was an option for you guys. There's a drop down right now in their system. Police, or is this mayor? You know, what I mean, talk to the mayor. I mean, that was really the pitch at the time. Yeah, because police departments that they want to keep there active, they say they don't get too much through there. But yeah, I get a lot of the same people, but I'm starting to see it from different parts of town now, where I used to see it just from one section. <laughs> Do we have a person in here that you could designate? That could be the, let's, Dave brought it up last time. I thought he had a good point. I thought about it, about having a person designated to actually do the social media post and then share it with us as opposed to us just, you know, this way it's kind of looked at or reviewed without, you know, us just, you know, putting quick, it out there in the universe. Quick answer is no. Right. But futuristically speaking, uh, we're, we're, in conversations now but maybe we need like a public information officer or somebody yeah i wouldn't mind somebody. seeing that because this way you know we're not all putting out stuff <coughs> willy-nilly and it's you know it comes it gets reviewed it, it's looked at it's proper mm -hmm. 
Um, you know, I'm just uh, piggybacking off of what Dave said last yeah. night. Mm -hmm. I think it made sense. Um, I think too many times we're, we're all jumping the gun here on stuff. And I just, you know, being that you're the manager and you can designate somebody, I wouldn't mind saying that. And I'm going to, you know, obviously give credit to Dave on that because he brought it up. You know? Well, um, the I mean, it's a discussion, so I mean, I'm just giving my opinion on it. How this whole conversation came about, I was talking to a friend of mine who was like, well, how, you know, I see this guy posted, this guy, you know, we all, and he says, you know, in my company, we actually have a team, a lawyer, a supervisor, whatever, looks over everything. It just doesn't go out to the, the uh, universe, you know? You know, who's, if we're saying the wrong things, we're saying them from a Councilman Dave Fisher, you know, it's, right. it's a responsible person. It's not just, I, you know, we'd all want to pretend we're on Ocean Care saying whatever we want, but since I've taken some of these uh, seminars, you can't be Dave Fisher and Councilman Dave Fisher. Is that correct? No, whatever whatever you're saying, you're saying I'm the you know, council. Yeah, mm -hmm. so well, I do believe that... Assuming you're using your council page. If you use your personal page, that's a different well, story. Well, it's a little great, you're my friend. You're still an elected if official. You're, if you start talking oh, yeah. about township business... You're on township time. It's discoverable. If, if somebody wants to bring that up in a lawsuit, it'll be brought up in a lawsuit. Right. Sure. Yeah, no there's nowhere to hide. I only, and put, I only put town relevant things on the mayor's page and on my home page. This is really family stuff. Yeah. I think it would be better if we were sharing information that had already been vetted versus us deciding what we think is important. And listen, we all want to be heroes. Every one of us wants to say, hey, I got the road paved. I got the stop sign put up. It's wonderful. But I don't think well, it should who be. Who wants it more? No. I could care. <laughs> Honestly, I could care I, less about it. I, I mean, think I just would rather, from one. I would rather have one source put it out and then we could share it out. But I also agree with John. If we had some sort of media officer, now we're getting lots of information out. As much as we want to pretend, that, you know, maybe uh, generationally we're, we're not, but these kids don't put their phones down. Everything that they get is from this town. This I, I think the a hybrid of what you're saying, I don't think we should restrict us from putting something, hey, yeah. don't forget the fireworks, don't forget this, but exactly. road projects, right. paving, yeah. that uh, stuff. utility, right. uh, things like that should really come from right one source yeah. and then we can or share. even we, like there's well, a new tree or, or updated tree or that, all that instance, stuff right you know? i think exactly. though if any one of us want to share don't forget the festival don't forget this day i have no problem with that yeah. it's something we always enjoy doing and it's helped promote it sure but absolutely here's what's going on on roosevelt avenue here's what's going on mile road here come the bike lanes mm -hmm. i mean and they're going to just work commences this date that should be really out there you know Heads the up. road pavement should really be out there ahead of time yeah. to, yes. so people can react. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Heads up, West Park right. Avenue is getting paved right. uh, by the county. Yeah. And, and they follow this yeah. link for yeah. parking yeah. instructions, et cetera. Yeah, that's something I'm looking at, too, because other towns, they use their TV channels to put stuff out like that, as yeah. well as and a lot of the smaller towns than us have public information officers. Yeah. Right, right. So I think yeah, that kind of stuff job. should be universal. I was going to say, what other towns have that around here? Do you person. know of any? Uh, mostly uh, like Aberdeen Township. Mostly uh, west of here. I don't think there's any okay. PIOs in the immediate area, but mm -hmm. for this size of town and all that we got going on. Long Branch and Asbury don't have one? Just thinking from a resort state. No, Long Branch doesn't have a specific. Right. Somebody has the. Asbury has one in the school district. They don't have a specific PIO. <laughs> <laughs> At $110,000. Yeah. Just, just, hey, you want to cut know, teachers, but you got somebody taking pictures. The other thing you have to be really concerned about, especially from a PIO standpoint, is one, there's training courses out there on it. There's mm -hmm. a FEMA. Uh, independent study class you can take that it would help you and you know understand exactly what you probably should say and probably what you shouldn't say um but the especially in in, in emergency situations you have to be very careful about saying you know that that in that particular case you know i don't care if it's the snow this that and the other thing but in an emergency situation you need to have a unified voice and everybody has to approve what's going on so like last year or two years ago with the COVID situation, we tried to keep it as unified as possible so we didn't cause, you know, panic. panic. For, the, for, for the best term there. So, um, you know, I, I, I like your idea of going with a PIO. I think it's extremely important. And that person should be in charge of your social media and, and 
Um, there's another, I don't know if, if we have any presence on it. I have OEM has a presence on Nextdoor, which oh, is another sure, yeah. social media package, yeah. which seems to get some pretty good coverage. You know, I just put out there like, you know, for example, the graduation was going to be in Watch Out for West Park, blah, blah, blah. There we go. But, uh, you know, so that's another avenue. And there, there are so many different, you know, uh, different social media avenues out there that you should worry about yeah. on top of your normal press releases and whatever. To me, the most infuriating thing is when somebody says to me, I had no idea. Yes. I said, how could that possibly be? Mm -hmm. We have a million ways to tell you things. I had no idea. I had no idea there was a meeting tonight. I had no idea that this was happening. Well, you know, but the well, part because most people just don't pay anymore. attention. Agreed. But you know, out, out of the, the what? How many people do we have here? Twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-seven thousand. Maybe you have fifteen hundred people that are paying attention. Well, the rest are really not. True. So and I think you're. High, I think that number's high. I was trying to be nice, <laughs> no, but I'm yeah. just saying. Given I got to tell you. Numbers on Nexel and Code Red. Uh, that number is high. Because okay. We have a lot of people who buy houses here who don't want to, you know, when they're up in Brooklyn, they don't want to hear it. All so the people subscribe. People pay attention when something's bothering them, when something's going wrong. Then they'll pay attention a little bit. But even that, I, I mean, I, I remember years ago about the, you know, the, the thirty-two acre piece. <coughs> I'm talking about way in the early '90s. It was like people coming in saying, "Well, we never knew about the." Here's a headline from the Asbury Park Press. Here's like three <laughs> articles that were written in the Asbury Park Press, top page, you know, about what was going on there. And it was like, oh, that never happened. Yeah. So True. the bottom line is True. most people <coughs> so don't pay attention. Yes. True. But I think we concur that that's a, uh, something to look into. Dave's <coughs> fine. And then we can really <coughs> control the content of what we put out there. Again, right. want to put out your kids, your 50th. Uh, anniversary and all that jazz and high school reunions that's fine and uh, you know like I said anything germane to the town that's a event that we're promoting through you know <coughs> our community celebration that kind of stuff should be on our our you know elected official pages mm -hmm. but right saying hey just got that road paved that kind of all that should come out of one one area that they know the road's going to be paved here's what's going to happen be prepared, park your cars, go to this link, so on and so forth. Utility work, water, all that. Mm -hmm. They should know about it. Exactly. Great. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you may not have to look too far. There's probably somebody in house who could <coughs> pick up that torch pretty quick. I'll, I have somebody in mind, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who happens to work in the town, who does a lot of posting. Yeah. If you know what I mean, so maybe you might be able to parlay that. I don't know. Forcing a lot of ads and social media person. So. Well, if you want me to take your time, I'm clearly. You are not my guy. Top notch. If you want kids and puppies, I can do that. But the kids. Hallway, I think. That's the end of my report, Mayor. So. Okay. I just have one thing on the regular agenda, just to. Sir, you're on. This is a uh, you know the Park Avenue Tennis Center. <coughs> I'm not sure if everybody saw it because it was an added resolution. So the resolution of that issue was there was 47000 some odd dollars that they were getting returned, but with interest that totaled up to 54000 He's taking back fifty. we we're getting 4000 whatever the number is, and then the balance is going to be paid back as additional rent at 1500 a month starting July 1. It'll be over by December, so we'll be out of it quickly. He catches up, everybody's happy. That's the end of that. And, cool. then, and then we added on three we, months. Three months, I was going to say. At the very end. And the three months is at whatever the rent is at that time. Mm -hmm. The only issue I had, and I put this language in there about approval, you know, of any agency, we're not really, I, I don't know what we're going to do about that in 25 years. But I have plans. Huh? You, you'll be in charge. But the, um, <coughs> the idea was, that I think at the 25 years we were at the edge, the, the end of the uh, the uh, uh, allowed time period. Our position here would be: Well, this three months really makes up for the three months they were closed. So. But we're just going to leave it like that. Figure it out yeah. as we go. Okay. So Anybody else have anything before we go to close? Tommy, are you here for a report? Here for close. Oh. Yes. All right. So with that. Oh, real quick. Anybody, anything on the capital budget? Uh, oh, yes. I was, I'm sorry. 
Old stone. Sorry, but no, I need to ask that, that question. Hard to believe. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> no, really, I mean, yeah, definitely. Could never tell. Right here. I could win money on that sort of thing. So, since it's Tom, good that you're here. What the hell kind of playback playback player are you pay, paying six thousand dollars for? To replace the is this for Ocean TV? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's to replace the one that's currently in the Ocean TV office that is currently living on borrowed time because it's Windows Seven and I can't do anything to update it or anything. What is what do so, you what make and model? What is it? It is a Key West Technologies player. It is uh, the cheapest one I can find because any other vendor like LQ or Cablecast, you're talking in the area of tens of thousands of dollars. Wow. Okay. So I try to be easy with you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <coughs> That's cool. Um, police department in car video replacement. Four hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, that's so they can keep up with the when the cameras, the lights going on, camera goes on. Right. So I, I'm asking. That's just for one car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have the breakdown of cars, but. Uh, well, I'm assuming that's all of them, and I guess my question is, mm -hmm. do we have to do them all at once? Better that way. Get it done. And this is well within our with me and Ricky's budget, so we're good with this. Okay. Because we got other things that we need to buy for the police department down the road. So okay. I'd like to get this one out the way. All right. Uh, public works, two-way radios, that's for everybody? Uh, the 11,000? Don't know the specific answer to that, but I can get that for you. I mean, the same concept. Yeah. All right, and then the bigger one. So I thought we were going to have a park, <coughs> one of the parks added to capital improvement this year, capital budget specifically, Oakhurst Park, but... Well, he has 60,000. No, I think... Court resurfacing. That's the tennis court. I think the CFO's idea plan is he's taking that to the trust nice. issue. Open space or yes. trust? Yeah. So he's got money on here coming out of open space, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have that on here. So the two items that are there under rec yep. are both being funded under open space. Numbers are down. I'm looking for what you're looking for. Okay. My website. And I'm sorry, this would have come up. Well, part of it should be right. 60,000 other. 60,000. 66. Could you be my own golf course putting You're looking under golf course putting green and then over the sport resurfacing. From open space. Right. I think the whole remodeling of the. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oakhurst court resurfacing. That's what I was talking about. That's the, it's coming out of open space. I'm talking about the playground. I'm oh. assuming that's the tennis courts. Yes. Let me find out if that's that's not part of this. Oh. So you okay. thought when I said I was talking about the, the courts. The I surface. don't think that's the tennis court, is that what that's the uh, basketball, basketball court. That's the basketball court. What yes. I said. Did I say tennis? I'm sorry, tennis. Yeah, twice. I meant basketball. That, sorry. I, that is the basketball court. Yeah. Yes, Minimal. that I knew. Okay. But I thought we discussed or I was hoping that we could get because we've been pushing for mm -hmm. park repairs. I mean, so play you're talking playground situation? Yeah. Okay. We can that's probably coming from somewhere else. But when I was talking I was talking the courts because the basketball courts were terrible. Mm. Mike's been yeah. putting in each year for these for the parks. I yeah, mean, I'll remind him about that, but I think that's coming from operator or from a different source. Okay. I mean the last conversation I think you and I had it was coming out of open space. But I don't know. Yeah, that I that think I misunderstood be. you though. So let me just Okay. Before I speak out of turn, let me just go clarify with, with well, the let me ask a different question then. Mm -hmm. Since it's getting voted on tonight. Okay. If it's not on there and it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. can we amend it after? Oh yeah. You can okay. always do that. It's just to introduced tonight. Chapter this is more it's chapter one fifty nine. This is part of the Yeah, it's being resolution. introduced tonight. Yeah. But it's yeah. a resolution or an ordinance? It's a the ordinance. All you do oh, is you okay. would delay it, though, if we have to amend it, that's all. Because it's supposed to be uh, approved in the July meeting. We only have one meeting in July. Yeah. So if we do have to amend it, it might be easier to introduce another one if, if that's the case. Whatever but I, I think don't think next. that's the case. Okay. Because this is, this is what uh, Mike had asked for. Okay. And we'll go with this and we'll keep it going. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. that's the goal because uh, it's holding Greg up right now from a lot of stuff, too. Really. All right. <coughs> Thank you. All right. Yes. Uh, we're Thanks. at Section A of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, <coughs> 1975, permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances. 
and whereas the public body's opinion certain circumstances <coughs> exist. We have resolved, Township County, Township, Township, Monmouth County, public shall be excluded from discussion and action upon here and after specified subject matters. The general nature of subject matters discussed as follows. C1, C2, C3, litigation, personnel litigation. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> but let's not get crazy. All right. Good evening, everybody. We're going to call the meeting of June 23rd, 2022 to order. Just have the roll call, please. Mayor Siciliano. Here. Deputy Mayor Napolitani. Here. Council Member Achera. Here. Donlin. Here. Fisher. Here. Everybody, please rise for a pledge of allegiance and then please remain standing for a moment of silent prayer thereafter. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The notice requirement for the Open Public Meeting Act, this meeting has been satisfied. A copy of the annual notice was sent to the Asbury Park Press Coaster, posted in Town Hall, and filed in the office of the Municipal Clerk on December 9, 2021. There are two fire exits, one to my left, which will take you out to the uh, front parking lot and one to my right which will also take you out to the right into the front parking lot if you have a cell phone now will be the time to please turn it off if you have to make a call kindly go out into the hallway you can make your call there please be mindful that all meetings are taped and archived and everything that you say is uh, videotaped and shown at a later date before we get started, I'm going to ask the council members if they have a report. John, do you have anything for us? Yeah, just a couple things. First of all, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2022 at Ocean Township High School. The graduation was held Tuesday. The weather held up for the most part. Um, Dave and I both had children that graduated this year, and um, I'm sure he'll echo my sentiment on the fact that they really had some awesome guidance at the school but one person in particular that really went above and beyond was Lisa Hanna. So I've got to really tip my hat to Lisa for all she did for these kids over the past four years. It's been incredible and such an accessible teacher for everybody. And also a big congrats to Kenny, um, Kenny Pickett, who's officially signed his contract today. So Kenny, congratulations. Great. Thank you. Mark? Nothing to report. Okay. Dave? I'd like to uh, also echo the same sentiments. Uh, congratulations, class of 2022. Of course, uh, selfishly, my daughter did graduate, and I'm very proud of her. But the I do want to say uh, kudos to the school system. They did a nice job. Uh, she had some great uh, mentors, and uh, she's got a lot to uh, look forward to, a good future. So uh, kudos to the school system for that. Great. Rob? No report, just wishing Marty a happy birthday. What? Happy birthday, Marty. Happy Dave. birthday, Marty. Hey, Dave. Uh, no report, Mayor. Marty, birthday boy. Just celebrating the 32nd anniversary of my 39th birthday. So. <laughs> All right. Just want to also wish Morty a happy birthday. And uh, yes, uh, next Friday, we're going to have our Kenny Pickett dedication event where we're going to honor Kenny in our own special way, 10 a.m. at the Municipal Gym over there on West Park Avenue. All are invited to come and enjoy if you like. we got some entertainment lined up, some fun things, mostly geared towards the kids. It's not an autograph signing event or anything. It's just something for us to do for Kenny in our own humble way. So please join us 10 o'clock on Friday morning, July 1st. And of course, that evening, followed by the fireworks, we have two spectacular bands to lead us off. So don't miss the fireworks this year as well. July 1st, that starts at 6.30. Uh, the gates open rather at 6, 6.30, and then preceded by the fireworks that are always spectacular over at the band shell at uh, the fairgrounds of the Mike Sinigliaro, Sinigliaro Fairgrounds. Got it. Okay. At this time, the purpose of the public portion is to solely ask questions, understand resolutions that appear on the agenda, and not an opportunity or occasion for public hearing on an ordinance. All questions not related to an item on the agenda should be asked during the public por comments portion at the end of the meeting. But for now, if anybody has anything that pertains to the resolutions or consent agenda, you may come. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come up to the microphone. <coughs> State your name and address for the record. <clears throat> Gotta get rid of that frog.
experience has been here. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember exactly how this went, but uh, basically, typically, we don't have a tree restoration bond that usually doesn't get posted. But here, because there was an appeal pending uh, of the litigation, even though no one had asked for a stay, uh, through the building department, I know they asked for the planning department, uh, and through our engineers, they demanded that he post a uh, bond for the uh, tree removal so that if anything happened, there would be re money to replace any trees that were taken down. Um, that noted in the planning board meeting? Um, probably the not council. in the planning board meeting. It probably... Um, Marty, I'm sorry, Mr. Barfus. You can call me Marty. It's okay. I think Jesse... I, I've, been, I've been called worse, I can tell you that. I think Jesse had a comment. It was done at a council meeting. We did a resolution accepting the bond at a council meeting. You know which one? Because I couldn't yeah. find it. It was in 2012. <coughs> Je Jess? I mean, and I can tell you there was there was people here and we had discussions <coughs> about it. I just don't remember, you know, the, the whole... It was, it was after the planning board approval when uh, that sort of came came about through the engineers and the So that would have been in 2022? I have been in 2021 because it was at the time the appeal was filed and you can call me tomorrow and tell me yeah we'll, okay. we'll get an answer to you thank you okay. happy birthday Marty thank you very All much right, thanks Paul anybody else anything on the resolutions only okay that appearing oh so you hear no one okay someone please offer the resolutions <coughs> RS1 through RS6 I'll offer second I'll second Chair? Yes. Dunn? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napletani? Yes. Cisliano? Yes. Also, we have for individual action vouchers in the amount of $8,690,418.76. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napletani? <coughs> yes. Cisliano? Yes. Individual action 22124. Authorize a consideration of the following request for bids proposals. A, removal of composted leaves from the Joe Player Park Shorelands Construction, Inc. Uh, someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napletani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. 22125, authorized and a refund of the Homestead Rebate <coughs> Credit for the following. Block 3, Lot 48, for $728.24. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Aplutani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. <clears throat> Losing my voice here. 22126, authorize a refund of tax overpayments for the second quarter of 2022. Taxes following block 34. Lot 1, qualifier C 127 for $1,395.15. Someone please offer. I'll offer. I'll second. Chera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napletani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. And 22127, approve the extension of installment payment plan for those property owners who have not remitted their installment for the special assessment as confirmed on May 13th, 2021. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Chera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napletani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. 22128, authorize professional service contracts. For the period of July 1st, 2022 through June 30, 2023, Martin Arvis, law firm of Martin Maybrook Good, LLC, Township Attorney. I said Martin, I meant Arvis. And B, Gregory Blast, PE, the firm of Leon S. Avakian, Township Engineer. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napletani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes, the engineer and uh, uh, yes, the attorney. Too. Okay, 22129. Authorize the extension of the interlocal service agreement between the Township of Ocean and Borough of Eatontown for emergency dispatch service for one year period. 
July 1st, 2022 through <coughs> July, June 30, 2023. Someone offer? I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 22-130, authorize the extension of interlocal service agreement between Township of Ocean and the Township of Ocean Board of Education for employment of a Class Three Special Law Enforcement Officer, someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 22-131, authorize a renewal of a contract for Code Red Emergency Notification System. Uh, with Ansov at a total cost of thirteen thousand two hundred eighteen dollars and twelve cents, for a one-year period, July twenty-first, twenty twenty-two, through June twenty, twenty twenty-three. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Siciliana. Yes. Twenty-two one thirty-two. Authorize a contract with Fernandez Construction Inc. for the twenty twenty-one roadway improvement program, at a cost not to exceed one million six hundred eighty-four dollars. Eighty-four thousand nine hundred seventy-eight dollars and twenty-nine cents. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera. Yes. Donlin. Yes. Fisher. Yes. Napolitani. Yes. Cisliano. Yes. Uh, tonight for adoption we have ordinance twenty-three ninety. Jesse, would you read the title, please? Sure. An ordinance amending and supplementing ordinance number twenty-three forty-three <coughs> entitled "An Ordinance Amending the Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Ocean, nineteen sixty-five, relating to personnel policies, practices, and procedures." Great. Right, Someone please uh, open a public hearing on 2390. I move to open public hearing on Ordinance 2390. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. Anybody from the public wishing to be heard on 2390, step up to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. Seeing and hearing no one. Someone make a motion to close the public hearing on 2390. I make a motion to close the discussion on Ordinance 2390. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Action, please, on 2390. I motion to pass Ordinance 2390 and publish according law. Second. Second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. That ordinance has been moved. For introduction only, we have two ordinances tonight. 2391. Jess, would you read the title, please? An ordinance authorizing the private sale of non-conforming real property known as Block 25, Lot... 122. All right, someone please introduce Ordinance 2391. I move to introduce introduce Ordinance 2391. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Isliana? Yes, that'll have its public hearing on July 14th. Uh, second, we have 2392. Just want to read the title, please. Sure. Bond ordinance providing for various capital improvements and the acquisition of various capital equipment appropriating 1765000 therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $1,637,550 in bonds and notes to finance a portion of the costs thereof. Right, thank you. Someone please introduce 2392. I move to introduce Ordinance 2392. Second. Second. Echera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Cisliano? Yes, and that'll have its public hearing also on July 14th. At this time, we're going to open up the public hearing. Anybody in the audience has anything germane to Ocean Township business? Now would be the time to come up to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. And John, just give about 12 inches away from the mic picks you up the best. Okay. Uh, so I'm John Spoli, 440 West Park Avenue, Foley's Tree Service. So I have a couple questions for you. We've been uh, working with the permit. But Margie, you told me the last time I was here that I didn't need a permit for the three trees. And that's what you, you told me that I didn't need a permit for, the, for three trees. The last you need time. a permit for the first three trees. That's, I'm sure that's what I said. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I apologize if it didn't, if it was, if it was misconstrued or mis. But you do need a permit for the first three trees. You don't need a permit for each tree in that three trees. That that's what we adjusted. Initially, it was you needed a permit for every single tree within those first three trees. But we changed it to one permit for those first three trees. They're making us pay for each tree. We're paying four hundred dollars for three trees. It, sh it should be $100, uh, yeah. that, that needs to be corrected. Yeah, so I paid $400 for that, mm. for three trees. Oh, that beyond the, the, the first three trees or beyond? The first three trees. Yeah. the first three trees should be $100 for the first three trees. That needs to be. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so that's one thing. And then the other 
The statutes where when it gets above the three trees mm -hmm. with the diameter of the trees is the, already the permit process, like what well, you said there was going to be a good turnaround. And Mr. Achira, I think you said you guys harder, hired an arborist, right? But you did not. We did. Got, but listen, just hear me out. I'm not going to yell. Well, I'm, I'm not either, but behavior. when you said we didn't hire, we did. No, no, you have a consultant. Correct. Right. But now, so I'm going to put in permits, and they're saying you have to hire an arborist, and that's costing people another eight hundred. That's I don't yeah. think that's true. They shouldn't. I, I swear to you. It's no, no, no. Wait, oh, let me I, recorrect that. They may be saying it, but like I don't think that's true. Right, and and well, we I just want to let me correct. Please, you, yeah. We did come to a conclusion on that. With with they're going to let me and Gene be able to write it since we're LTCOs, and write a letter in regards to the trees. But the guy that you have going out looking at the trees has no idea about anything of trees. That, like they got like a regular guy in the town. The guy, um, he's, a he's a plumbing inspector. No, it's Michael McCauley, he's a zoning inspector. Or, well, zoning inspector, yeah. but he does. He's not a. He's not an arborist. Yeah, well, we hired um, Avakian is our. Yeah, but our they're not certified yep. tree. But right, it, call oh. them out. When? So you're going to call Habakian every time you're going to look at a tree? Is that how it's supposed to be going? Depends on the situation. Okay. All right. Well, and I'm all ears. I mean, if it's not working, then well, let me know. Well, that's not working. That's not going to work. But I, mean, I think we got that part, Nick, because they're going to let us write the letters. That way we don't have to beat people up. I'm not going to charge people to think that a tree is dead. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys, be, you know, listen, if I wanted to go to school for six years, I wouldn't be doing this every day. I'd be sitting up here with you. So can I, just so I'm clear, so so we're all clear. Yes. So I get, forget the letter for a second. So yeah. if if you have a, if somebody calls you up yeah. and there's a dead tree on the property, right. the current process is, as you believe it to be, that we need to, you, you or the homeowner must call a certified arborist to declare it dead. Cur okay, so keep me honest. Is that what our arborist is supposed to be doing? That's what I Yeah, believe we're supposed to have a Bakian that's, that's what the ready. Right. A Bakian's guy true. should go out there. That's what the conversation. And, and look at it and say, yep. Yeah. Right. right. So that's the, why you're paying the money. They Tracy shouldn't be paying for that. Like, no, you have to pay for that. They shouldn't so, be paying for that. No. And on another thing, let's no way. I, I know you guys are doing, you're trying to keep your constituents happy and everything. But the way this thing is written up, I, I live in this town. You're going to shut me down in this town. I mean, if somebody's going to put a pool in, and they're gonna take down, like, they live in Wayside, and they're gonna take down a 50-inch tree on top of some other trees to charge them $2,000 to the town for that tree. If there's five of them, that's 10 grand. And then I'm eight grand to take them down. Who, who can afford that? So you, it's a lot. I mean, I see, I think you should charge something. Hmm. But two thousand dollars, even a thousand dollars, a lot of money. I mean, yeah, maybe these guys around here, it's not a big deal. But what about the rest of them? You know, what about even them? Don't think they like spending money. That's why they have so much money. These guys. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? And so, like, if I've got some people that are are just gonna walk away from the job. I mean, to be honest with you, that's the purpose of the ordinance. It should be because now you're going reasonably. Against, I mean, well, the, I'm glad you said that on open mic because that's completely wrong. That's not what it's supposed to be. This is. Taking down trees and maintaining your property is a civil liberty. It's it's a civil right to take them. Just like if you don't cut your grass, you guys have a right to find somebody for not cutting their grass. Taking care of somebody's property is a civil liberty. You know what I mean? It's not construction. It's property. So, you know, everybody I've talked to, I've been back and forth with the Board of Tree Experts. This thing's, you know, it's, it's out of realm. You're, first of all, you're 80% higher than any other <coughs> permit process in the state. 80%. That's not 20%. It's not even 40, 50%. It's 80%. Why why is that? That's too much money. You're going to you're going to put us we're not going to be able to work in town. That's what's going to happen. And we're going to have to start traveling to to Colts Neck and crap like that. I, I get it. You don't want as many trees cut down, but it still doesn't give people the right to tell what tell them what to do with their property. If somebody owns some property, it's their property, right? People went to war and died for that right. So you're going to tell them how to manage their property? It's a little, I, I, I get it. You want to put a sticker on it, but you can't charge somebody $2,000 for a 54-inch tree. 
what do you, Mr. Terry, what if you want to put a pool in? And the trees are going to cost you 20 grand to come out. You've been to my house, you've done work at my house, know. you know there's no room for a pool. And I know, but, but you but, understand right. what I'm saying. Yes. We, we have to adjust that. I'm not asking you to, to take it out. I'm saying make it fair. Mm -hmm. You know, 450, how about 450? You know, 500. You know, I, I think when the, this was passed, there was some discussion about we'll have to see how this evolves and there are going to be problems and we got to face those well, problems and maybe iron things out. So just, I just think to, there should some, be some... Some of the, uh, you know, the cost involved in planting a tree, because that's where that money is going to, so we can take what trees were removed from pro private properties and plant them elsewhere in town, so we still have the benefit of the trees, but the cost of planting trees... So, so, Right, so so that you know how much money's in the tree commission? Too much. Yes, yeah. right. so that's too lot. much. So let me finish. It. So you yeah. guys have never planted any trees. The only trees you ever planted was when Billy Bars went out of business and donated them to the town. This, so that sounds good, but you're not right. doing that. The, that there market. is there is a plan moving forward. We started a list of, of right. where to plant them in town. Well, the tr shade I shouldn't say sure. we the, the shade the tree. Uh, uh, started a list of where to plant them, a priority list of where we can plant them, so, um, and then planting will start in the fall and move forward from there, hopefully on a regular basis, so we can replace the trees that have already been taken down. Can Can I ask a question? Yeah. So to your point about the, the pricing, and I'll admit I didn't go searching all over, but I do believe the Environmental Commission and the Tree Commission did do that research. Yes. And not to challenge you too much, but I was under the impression that we were Probably on the higher end, Correct. but not the most expensive. Correct. Okay. We are, in fact, the most expensive, according to Aspen Tree Service and the Board of Tree Experts. I do. 78%. I believe oh, there's other. Oh, you know there I, I don't know what this County, is. Just let me finish. In Bergen County, it's $40 for the permit and $40 a tree. In Bergen County. Do you Everywhere know else, it's 10 I'll get it off. Thank you. If you could get if you could get some comparisons, I'd like to see it too because yeah, I agree that, that there should be some tweaks. I just I just want yeah I just you, you got to make it fair for people. Right. I, I, I get it. You don't want to take down trees, but you know there, there becomes a point where you're infringing on civil liberties, and that's that's not what you guys are about. That's not what you're here for. You're here to control and maintain what you're doing. You can't you can't be that unfair. And, and I'm I'm a working guy. You're gonna put me out of business in town. Nobody's going to cut trees down if you make it like that. The average person can't swing that. Or I guess they're going to cut the trees down and not get the pool. I, you know, that's going to change. They're going to do like the heck with it. And, I, you know, it, you have to see it as that. I mean, you, know, you guys are reasonable people. I, that's a lot of money. You know what I mean? What if there's just five trees? It's still ten grand. Then it's going to be eight grand. Gas is so much expensive. Mazis is so expensive. Mickey's on his way out. Can't even go there no more. You know, God forbid something happens to him. That place is done. Yeah. You know, the license goes with him. These guys are raping us. You know, uh, uh, they're charging us a hundred and something dollars for a load of chips. <laughs> so I mean, you know, we used to get, we used to dump them for free. <laughs> you know, between that and the gas bill, I mean, and then with this, you know, I, I'm telling you, I've lost, I've lost a considerable amount of jobs since this thing started. Margie, you're saying that's what that's about, but that's not fair to everybody. And, 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 the, and for you guys, you guys have to be equally fair to all of us, not just to some constituents, you know, just because that's their problem. There's other people here, too. You know, I got a family, too. You can't just shut me down to keep them happy. It's not fair. And then the, the other, well, other problem we're having is you guys said the permits were going to get out right away. It's not happening. I had a guy lie to me today and tell me that the permit was done. And I've already gotten one summons, but I was getting ready to get another one today. And I showed the guy my text, uh, Michael. I go, here's the text. The guy said he's got the permit right in the summons. <laughs> Not me. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And then he let me take care of it. But the guy put the permit in three weeks ago, right? And as soon as they, they printed them, because in the beginning we couldn't even put a permit in because they didn't have any. Mm -hmm. So then they printed them. I got the guy in there. He was calling and leaving messages every other day. Nobody calls him back. I, I don't know anybody that's gone. All right, yeah. well, and I think we, we, we had some, you were at our meeting, the, the workshop meeting, and what I suggested is, because that's a problem that has to be resolved, has to be fixed, the 
bunch of different problems you've mentioned, yeah. all of them legitimate. That's why I'm here. I just want to work it out. Yeah. You know? But what we need, maybe, is having, you know, just like the facts as to what the permits cost in other towns and Margie, mm -hmm. you know, we could get that from the people who, you know, wanted these prices. But the point is, you know, give us a list. It doesn't necessarily have to have their names, but the addresses of permits that have been applied for, when they were applied for and whether you've received it yet, yeah. so that we can say, hey, well, we can't have this for three weeks. No, 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 no. Oh but you know, we got to know, John. If we got to know that to say what's going on to fix it. If we can't turn over permits down there, first I heard of it from Gene no, today. I told you, and I tell you, yeah. I, I'm not Come on, you're supposed you. to be a Republican. <laughs> Having said that, I don't call them names. <laughs> <laughs> no name calling. Listen, yeah, Gene, Gene brought it up. I think it's new. Too. I'm gonna. I'm not making excuses, but I and I. If I'm speaking for the whole council, I apologize, but I think that's the first, I will say it, that's the first I heard of the issue with the permits. Having said that, we had it, we discussed it. Dude, there wasn't even any permits up there for two I, weeks. They didn't yeah. even have any. We were writing stuff down on napkins. Right, that's the stuff that we want to know about, so yeah. they, you know, the manager can, can... You can come to my office anytime. Yeah, I get, I get some of what you say. I always get kicked out right about there. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make it past the security right check, huh? <laughs> But if, if we could work on that, yeah, because you know, nine out of ten times when these people, when whoever removes trees, they, replant them. <coughs> they have to replant them. Look at that house on South Lincoln, those birch trees. That guy had to spend two hundred grand on trees mm. over there because that was the old permit. He had to replace them, and Monmouth Custom did the job. And whether you know it or not, those guys listen to you. <coughs> you know, they do do what they're supposed to do because he's real religious. So yeah, I'm serious. Like, so he is like that. But look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. With yeah. the birches and all the right. trees. Right. I mean, if you replace your trees, you don't have to pay. Um, That's not what they were saying. Yeah, it's 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 very it's, it's very it's very clear in the in the ordinance. If you right. replace, you can either pay into the shade tree fund, or the, we would prefer that people re replace them on their property. Okay. If you can't, or if you don't want to, then well, some people don't pay into the shade tree fund property. so that we can plant them somewhere else. Right. That's the whole point. But yes, you don't have to pay into the shade tree fund if you if you replace them. <laughs> Wait, hold it. I'm going to write that. We'll down. send We're you a card in Arbor Day. Definitely get that. But, uh, you know, can, maybe can we work on that? Maybe I, I don't think there's any, you know, we, we had That's got it. Gene we, we come, come to the, the meeting, meeting before. You agree with me, right? I mean, yeah, he came in to complain about yeah. well, how this is working. <laughs> yeah, if you, I don't know anybody that's gotten a permit. No, I've got two. Did you get two? Yeah. All right, I mean, so clearly the system needs to be worked out. I think maybe we should have another meeting and just make sure everything gets smooth like we had before. Right. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll set that up with, um, yeah, with the manager. Let's adjust that. Yeah. 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 And, and the point is, I think at that meeting, and, and this is what, frankly, we were, trying to do, to, we were trying to do before, yeah. is yeah. get, in addition yeah. to the people who want to save the trees, and I get that, have these people here also so that they present. I mean, you were in, as part of that committee when they were doing it. But try to, yeah, you, you know, part of the committee. You you yeah, yeah. it's your fault. <laughs> but, 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 but the bottom, no, it's not that your fault. But the bottom line is, it's not your fault. But the bottom line is to get both sides of the equation in there and then come up with right. something that works right. maybe better than what's out there. Fair and balanced. It's got to be yeah. some. <coughs> Gene Armstrong, I live at 2500 Sunset Avenue. As for me, working on the permit thing, Ken had us meet under the pretense of going over what we had. He never said anything about what he was doing and that nobody had input into that but him. Because I was there and I know what everybody else said. But that said, I just want to make sure people know I didn't have any input in what he wrote. Um, yeah, the main thing I have is kind of just going to recap a little bit before, you know, with the licensed tree expert. I mean, you, you said you were going to have one, but you have an inspector, which is fine. The, the, the big problem is you got a dead or dying tree, then you want 
a light, you know, a licensed tree expert to write a report. And like one of my customers said, he had a hard time even finding anybody. He did find somebody, and they wanted five hundred dollars to write the report. And at that point, he just and he's got trees that have been leaning since Sandy. And a lot of people just give up, and uh, that's not right either. I think if they would let us take, if it's dead or dying, you take pictures. We could write the report. Your guy could go look. If there's any question, then you call a box. I think that's the process. I think, I think that I think that should be the process. Well, you don't want to be bringing him. You don't want to have to pay to bring him in all the time. Okay, okay. We already worked that out. That's what it's No, but I think that's a reasonable process that. And, and that way you don't have to. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, great. That makes sense. Beautiful. You say the tree is dying, yeah. and then this guy goes and looks and says, yeah, the tree's dying. Yeah. And there'll be those instances where it's hard to tell. Then yeah. you call the other. There's a little common right. sense. And okay. you don't want to be spending money having a Bakken's guy. We don't want Peter getting all the money. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your concern. We appreciate that. Um, the length of time. Yes. Be fixed. Most issue. towns I deal with. We heard you on that one. Seven, ten days. I know it says 30 days. Does it say 20? I didn't know that. <laughs> I did not know. Um, and of course, the cost of the permit. Uh, the hundred dollar cost. Well, as it's Margie $100. stated, it's a hundred. First, hundred dollars for the first three trees. That, that three. I did not know. I thought it was a hundred and hundred for. No, that was the original trees. one. So that and that's we been changed it. Changed a hundred for the first but three it, trees. But that initial fee is. Quite high. And then additional 100 per Quite tree after that. To but most tree towns, trees. nobody's even close okay. to that. Um, and like I said, a few of my customers have, uh, you know, complained about the front desk and, and they get kind of discouraged and they just forget about it, you know. Um, certainly, you make it hard. I mean, you know what? Before the thing came into effect, I had a few trees that were leaning with crack and I've been toying taking it down because it's a hazard. But you know what? If I had to do this now, I would leave it. I'd let it fall on the street. Um, and then uh, a couple, just a couple more things. Um, trees planted as a hedge. I got a lady, like you say, the 20, 25 year old pines planted as a hedge behind a pool. Now they're huge. But to take them out, I think they, they quoted her like, like twenty. It was a lot. It was like twenty thousand dollars. Wow. And it's not like she wasn't going to put a new barrier maybe not trees at that point um also removing trees for solar panels you know that's another thing you, you know i mean people want to be environmental and put solar panels but if you have to pay you got some bigger trees you got to take out it's going to cost the person quite a bit of money and one one last thing i'm gonna get quick um <coughs> ash trees emerald ash borer is here mm -hmm. if you go around town they are dying everywhere. There shouldn't be any question on any ash trees. The, the, the state re um, recommendation is to cut them down. Really? It might be, yeah. So that would qualify as a disease tree, right? Disease yeah, 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 100 percent would. And and if if you go around town, you you'll see them. Yeah. That's there. the one I have in my backyard. You just gotta go. There's a lot of them. There's a bunch of them. Gotta be. And uh, gotta go. I think that's it. I'll cut it short and. Cut uh, on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate your input. And 100%. So we get a meeting going Yeah. Work something out. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Good Thank stuff. You. Anybody else? Cool. Paul well, Merowitz, 14 Magnolia Court. Uh, What's the current status of 1515 Logan Road? Um, just waiting for some more reports coming back in, uh, from our engineer and some construction officials, but then we're going to decide what plan we're going to go with. Uh, uh, and I saw that we put out a bid for another for a restaurant next to the Colonial Terrace Golf Course. Correct? For a restaurant? Or if I... Yes, that was the RFI, Request for Information. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just a couple thoughts that I'd like you to consider. Number one, the last thing I think that we should be doing as a township is 
leasing a facility for a restaurant that's going to compete with the existing restaurants in our township. And I don't think that's right. But I had a conversation with a member of the Board of Education. And it should be no secret to the council that the Board of Education is going through a process as to what they want to do with the Board of Education property. This is an ideal opportunity for a shared service agreement with the Board of Education to save the taxpayers of this township some property taxes. Whether or not it's school taxes or municipal taxes, we have an opportunity to use 1515 Logan Road or the facility next to the golf course to perhaps relocate the Board of Education and to get some income from the sale of that property and reach between the municipality and the Board of Education an equitable agreement for both the municipality and the Board of Education wherein all of the taxpayers in Ocean Township benefit. And I really would like to suggest that a council person be appointed to spearhead that effort with the Board of Education who I'm sure would appreciate that opportunity to at least explore it before they come to any decision on the sale of the Board of Education property. Because if they sell that property, all we're going to get is more residential development in this township, and that may be the last thing that we want to do because our roads are overpopulated as it is. That's my first thought. Does yeah. any council member think I'm off base? Um, almost. Almost? Almost. Well, yeah, on the sale of the property, if they decide to sell it because it's obsolete and they don't need it on uh, Monmouth Road, and yes, it's suitable. It's uh, probably about eight or, I think it's 10 acres there. Yeah, so 100% right. somebody's going to go and develop it for something to <clears throat> probably satisfy the need to the surrounding community that's there now. So I, I don't see that as a major problem. That's probably going to happen. We don't get any revenue from that, the township itself. That's their building. We've discussed 1515 Logan with them numerous occasions. Every which way. You want this part, you want that part, half, all. It's just, you know, it's not suitable for them, according to them. Offered it to them many times. In fact, I think we had a discussion, uh, not a discussion, but it, it came up again about less than two months ago. Okay, they did not mention that at the last Board of Education meeting. Well, it wasn't a full-fledged exploratory. It was in passing, myself and I think the board president and Jim were in a room together. I think, John, were you in there? Yeah. You mentioned had, again, 1515 eh, Logan, we keep considering that, but it's not really suitable. That was really the end of it. We, we really tried also with the pre-K program. We thought that that building, 1515, was... Definitely suitable for that. Um, they had no desire. Oh. So, I mean, at this point, you know, we're looking at other options with 1515. Anyway. Okay. Which uh, will benefit the resident and taxpayer. As you're aware, I'll probably ask the big Board of Education as to how they came to that conclusion. Well. Second comment. Uh, since I've been back in Ocean Township, I have noticed that the roads are in deplorable condition. Why'd you come and back? I missed you. <laughs> we missed you too. Okay. Uh, Public Works has done an admiral job in fixing what potholes they can. But as I drive around, I notice that a substantial number of the if you will, unevenness in our roads is not due to potholes. It's due to utility cuts. And 
if theoretically they're required by statute, which I'm not sure, to first fill the utility cut, and as I have been told, come back a year later to level it, nobody's enforcing it. Because we have too many utility cuts that are not even with the roadway. Is there a, any area specifically or road that you mean? Because we had this discussion with our engineer in our workshop, and basic, yeah, on several roads that ongoing utility cuts or maybe future utility cuts, that's the thing, Paul. It may look like they're out of there, water companies out of there, but... I've got one on West Park Avenue near yeah. the intersection with Hope Road that's clearly not level. Oh, well, that's county. Okay, and there. there's a whole bunch of utility cuts so the county all road, along West Park. <coughs> well, you know... West Park's going to be paved this fall from the highway to all the way up to... Uh, Hope Road. To Green Grove. Yeah. So not so, going into Tin Falls. All of Ocean Township. Which and ends, then, and then I think which ends in the middle of Hope Road. Well, it's going, it's going. I think it's going past Wayside Road too. I believe he said Green Road, but that's getting paved this this fall. It's slated for. Okay, so, so you, I think they're waiting for all those utility cuts, the trenches to settle, all that jazz. You know, all right, so you'd happen. like a list of all the utility cuts that are uneven. Well, no. If you if you're telling me that's one of the roads, I didn't know if there's something else specifically we can look into it but i mean we know about roosevelt we know about west park we know about a few others that there's ongoing projects and whereas some of the utilities are out of there but others are coming back well so, verizon is reinstall is installing vios throughout the township where it has not done that before and i can guarantee you those utility cuts are not going to be flat hmm. okay so anywhere utility they're doing work you can assume it's not going to be flat, and you ought to add that to your list. Or at least send a preemptive notice to Verizon that you expect it to be flat, not with a slight hump. Right. Okay. Uh, third thing. We designated the Coaster as an official newspaper. The Coaster really only publishes on a weekly basis. Okay. But it stays they on your don't coffee table for a week. So and they don't, won't miss it. And they don't necessarily always submit those postings to the New Jersey Press Association. And I've spoken at a meeting previous to this that we as a township need to do a better job in advising our residents of when we have public meetings. And I was told that we were going to look into it. Have we? Yeah, I mean, we, we post in the Asbury Park Press, the coaster, on our website. Uh, the press does send it to the uh, NJPA, as you uh, aforementioned. So I think we're hitting all everything that we need to hit. That's everything that we need to do by statute. But what we're talking about is a push concept, not a pull concept where the residents have to go out and do that. I'd rather see a push concept where the public is advised of it. They, uh, Mr. Acera has done a fairly good job in posting public meetings on Ocean Cares, but he's not perfect. He's pretty good, but he's not perfect. Uh, and it's something that we as a township should try and do to enhance not only transparency, but to also get greater participation by the public in the running of our municipality. So in this previous meeting in the workshop, we just spoke about that. I uh, spoke to the governing body about upping our CRM, customer relations management. And one of the things is trying to uh, implement greater presence on social media from the administration standpoint. So we are working on that too. But that's going to take some time because it's, it's, it's about identifying a person to actually do that and to spend time on that, as well as uh, other press releases and things that should go out too as well. Hiring an IOP or... I'm sorry, Chris. Hiring an information officer is what he's talking about. To get all that information out, road openings, road closures, Verizon's in town, yeah. council meetings, anything germane to Ocean Township... 
that someone may be interested in. Using a television station as well. Different different avenues, different venues for people to find out about information. Okay. Uh, the conversation tonight and the discussion on the tree ordinance was enlightening, to say the least. Uh, the one comment that I took away from it, which struck me, was the comment of the gentleman who said, I, I heard that he was on the Shade Tree Commission, but didn't really have input he wasn't. into the document. He was or on did the I hear that wrong? Yeah, he meant he was on the committee when they crafted the ordinance. In other words, he was an invited guest because he's in that business. So when they were crafting the ordinance, the Environmental Commission in Shade Tree, it was prudent to go out and invite the two gentlemen you saw and open it to any other arborists or tree experts or guys. Thank you, Chris. No, up. I understand what so you're saying. He was at the meeting. And he, he gave didn't me get, a different impression. Yeah, yeah. He was only an attendee. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. Thanks, Paul. Good stuff. Don't age too much. <laughs> Can't help it. It's too late. <laughs> Anybody else? Nope. So you're going to hear no one, so we'll make a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Deshera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napletani? Yes. Luciana? Yes, meeting adjourn. Thank you all for joining us. The meeting will air on YouTube and TV. <laughs> Jesus, you're killing me, man. You're killing me, buddy. Yeah. Negative, Barney. Negative.